Lego have already teased us getting a Thai X-Wing sort of two-in-one merge build, which personally I'd love for us to get in the style of the Thai Interceptor Fang Fighter set. We get both of them in the set and can switch the wings. But did you know you can already switch the wings on your older models? For instance, this is the cockpit of the 2012 TIE Fighter with the wings from the previous X-Wing. Not the UCS version, but the previous playset X-Wing. And today, we're not only going to be showing off this model, which is taken straight from the trailer of Rebuild the Galaxy. If you didn't see that video, the show is a what if for LEGO Star Wars. And we're getting Ewoks in my wings. We're getting tire X-Wing hybrids. And we're also getting a Dark Falcon with Darth Jar Jar. But we can expect to get loads of different sets based on the theme. LEGO have started to play around a bit more with Star Wars, with Luke's X-Wing mech, which honestly I really hope sells well because I'd love to see a load more ships in that mech style. And I love this sort of Lego set because Lego Star Wars has always been fun and quite comedic if you've watched the shows, if you've played the games. And finally, we're getting some sets that are on that level. The closest we've got to this is probably the Yoda Chronicles sets and they were actually quite cool models rather than having a bit of fun like this. So I've got an Interceptor, a Vader's tie and a few other models that will be switching the wings around in this video. So do sit back and enjoy. And if you do like the video, drop a like to show your support and subscribe for more awesome Lego mocks and fun videos such as this. The only Rebel Starship that we have to switch the wings of is this Luke X-Wing here. And whilst it would be cool to see I guess we could definitely get a wire wing with the twin ion engines that could attach to all the different tire models. But you can't really do it with an A wing. There's not really many other ships for the Rebels. So we have a few Imperial ones to switch with this X wing. We have the TIE Fighter, as I mentioned, from 2012. It's pretty much unchanged. I'm pretty sure I've changed around the cockpit of it. So that might be a bit different. But the wings and the structure, the only thing I've had to remove for this video are two axles in the wings just so it's easier to pop them off. We then have the 2021 TIE Fighter which I have modified to make a TIE Interceptor which I think looks really really cool, minifigure scout and you may see the Interceptor and X-Wing have their own platforms that are just built using, I think these are spare pieces I had when I modified the Friends Apartments and Central Perks so they're just using these black support beams, which does actually look quite cool on the shelf and just enables them to be displayed with their wings open and without their wings being crushed by the force of the model. And then we have my first mock of this year, actually, Vader's Advanced Tire. I think it's the X1 version, which he does stand on top of in a really cool Rebel scene. So that's why he's on top and not in the cockpit. But this is a modification of the Tire Bomber and the fun thing about this is I didn't change the wings at all. The only modification is in this cockpit area in the middle. So we can definitely take a look at the tire bomber wings, the tire interceptor wings and the tire fighter wings on the X-Wing. And stay tuned because I've got three other builds that aren't all Imperial related to finish off this video. First up, we have the model that I was waving around just a second ago and this actually takes the more modern TIE Fighter cockpit. Initially I used the 2012 one but I felt you might want to see the different cockpit as well and all I've done to connect the X-Wing wings is used a three length bar with the three pinholes in, two of them on either side and then connected them to the four different bricks in the X-Wing using some black Technic pins and then connected them to the wider model. It saves having to mess around with the actual cockpit itself and is just an easy addition for the ship. And hopefully, if LEGO are working on this model, the wings will be able to open because they're actually quite solid for this. I think there's a little movement in sliding them front and back, but that is all the movement you're gonna get out of this model. I really do like this ship. It looks so cool. And the other one is just absolutely cursed. There is, not really a selling point for Lego on this ship. It just looks so, it's just so weird. You've sort of got the worst from the two models, if I'm honest. I definitely prefer the cockpit of the TIE Fighter with the X-Wing wings. That looks super cool. This just looks like the leftover pieces. This is what you were trying to build with the mock 
and this is what you built with the pieces left over. I think that's the perfect explanation. The wings definitely connect on there and there's actually a little wobble feature. If you press the Technic piece that is meant to extend the wings, you can get a small bit of, I mean, I'm not even getting any wobble from that, but there is a little, little bit of wobble you can get on the wings. It's like a feature they'd add to Minecraft's Ender Dragon, but hopefully the other X-Wing wings are gonna look much, much cooler. And I think the best hope we've got is the TIE Interceptor. All right, I'll be honest, I have no idea what I was expecting, but I was expecting something a bit better than this. I'm not quite sure any of these wings are gonna look too good on the actual X-Wing. So once again, I think Lego's main selling point is gonna be this ship, which is probably why we haven't seen this version hanging about. But I do promise it gets better as we go on and hopefully the TIE Bomber wings look a little better than this one. This is more like it. Now these are the wings from the TIE Bomber, which is still available. I don't think the X-Wing is. I'm pretty sure the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter retired last year. So we're in desperate need of one soon. Fingers crossed for August, September, sometime around that we'll be seeing the newer models. But you can see the wings actually have a slight angle. They don't fit perfect, so there would be a bit of modification needed, but I'm sure LEGO will have a complete different system for the X-Wing anyway. You can see UCS Luke is actually tucked away inside the cockpit, and I'm so happy I've got that figure, but what better ship to pair it to than his father's TIE Advance? We've got Vader on his TIE Advance. I think I like this even more than the TIE Fighter with the X-Wing wings. You can see the back sticks out a bit more and I think that's what makes it look a bit cleaner. It sticks out with the engines and I know the engines stick out the back of the X-Wing anyway, but it's a bit of a similar shape just without the nose cone. And I really do like this model. I'm interested to see what connection Lego give to the different wings that allows them. They'll probably go with one of them hinges that you can get the axle joints for because that's probably the safest way. It's not the best connection, but I think it will be better than trying to implement something like ball joints here, for instance. So I'm very intrigued to how LEGO are gonna make it work. And if the model stops wobbling, then you can see the both of them actually look pretty cool. And I think Vader's advance works better with Luke's X-Wing. And of course, you've got the whole father-son dynamic there, sort of the heroes for both sides. So. I'm a bit surprised we're not getting Vader's advance, but I guess for the show purposes, random X-Wing, random TIE Fighter, it's a bit easier to implement than just a one-off X-Wing and TIE advanced. But hopefully going forward, all the TIE models we get have a similar connection in the wings. There must be a reason they're choosing to switch it up other than just switching the wings between models and we'll be able to do this with more sets down the line. Speaking of using other sets down the line, we have previously got sets they use the same sort of pin axle joints as other models, specifically Anakin's ETA, which is my minifigure scale custom. But once again, all of the joints for the wings and everything are the exact same as the original model. And then we have the most recent addition, Rex's Y-Wing, which although it uses a pin and then one of them half pins and axles does have the same connection to all of these. So I'm really intrigued how the massive wings line up on these smaller sets. And then we've got the AT-80. I have modified this, taken a joint out the leg so it can stomp around my Lego City. But the connection just at the top here is the exact same as on all of the models. You've got the two different pins with the pin in between and really anything that goes by that standard would work with any of these wings. So let's switch these around and take a look at what they look like. I think we have the best looking model of the video. What I've done is taken Anakin's ETA cockpit, which I'm pretty sure is unchanged from the original model. I don't think I changed anything in making it minifigure scale because of this massive cockpit piece, but it's got the wings of the X-Wing. It is a shame that I haven't modified these to open. I think this would look really, really cool. It's even got the flip fire missiles just underneath. I think that actually makes it look better because it's then the depth of the ship as well. But I really like how the X-Wing ETA, the ETA X-Wing turned out and I had to whack some wings on the AT-80. I've whacked the TIE Fighter wings. I tried the Interceptor and Bomber wings. They didn't work out. Even the TIE Fighter wings are wobbling a bit. So the AT-80 really needs some support. It's on the X-Wing sort of dock there, but 
It definitely needs the four legs to hold it up. But I think the X-Wing wings look so funny on it. And if you had, perhaps if you had two X-Wings and you put wings at the front, wings at the back, and they were able to fit in that gap, it might be all right holding itself up. But these are the older wings as well. So they're a bit flimsy. A few big plates have been used and there's not much support. But that is hilarious. And I think the only thing left to do is whack the interceptor wings on the ETA. They're very similar and try the bomber wings on each other. Well, this didn't turn out anywhere near as good as I'd hoped. It looks like it squished Anakin's ETA and Rex has more of a roll cage than anything. In fact, I think this would roll better than the new Droidica. It does roll pretty well, but I think an amazing combination are these X-Wing wings on the at -AT. That looks scary. That looks like a massive ship. And if you saw, any sort of ship with a head coming towards you, I know I'd be flying in the opposite direction. The only modification I've really needed is to take the tip off the back wings here and remove this middle plate to make space for the engine. But this looks super cool. I've definitely got half a mind just to display these with different wings and mix them up and make them look good. It doesn't really work for the smaller ships, but you could definitely switch a few of the different tires. If you would like to see a part two to this video and see me either whacking the 8080 legs on everything because that would look hilarious or perhaps you'd rather see me mix a few more of the Imperial vehicles such as Vader's tire with the other two wings and vice versa. Definitely let me know down in the comments because there are so so many more combinations to be had here but i hope you did enjoy watching then definitely smash like on this video to show your support i definitely recommend subscribing to join the community but consider joining the discord as well we're having some great conversations over there and if you join as a brick tier member you also get access to all my mock instructions for no extra price thank you so much for watching once again and may the bricks be with you always